is a clementine? Is it a small orange? You think I know? I think it's just an orange not yet fully bloomed. I mean, it has all of the properties. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's orange. It's, uh, it's, um, don't strain yourself now. I think it's just an orange unbloomed. I mean, it's all we need to know. It's kind of like when, when Jefferson was putting together and Can we help you? Why are you guys in our room? Your room? This is our room, pal. Your room? Then why are our names outside on the door? All right, guys, it has been 10 minutes now. I think you all get the gist. Can you please go now? Yeah, I mean, I got that recorder excited about six, and these windpipes need to be properly lubed. Is that an unbloomed orange? Oh! After a year of college, I've become somewhat of a pro. Sure, I was barely passing my classes last year due to my work on the show, but you know what I established? Character. How else do you think I was able to renew my filming contract with Ian? It sure wasn't my degree. No, sir. It took guts and payment for his college tuition. First then I'm going to need 50 bucks. For what? Do you lose your syllabus? No, we don't pay for syllabuses. Uh, it's pronounced so by Ian. Well, whatever. I don't pay for those. It's for my history of gender class. They need money for supplies. Gender class? Do we even have one of those on campus? And... What would you need supplies for? You think I know? Just give me 50 bucks. Alright. Just promise me you won't spend on booze like the last time. I'm so riveted with rage, I could kill someone right now! Before you decide who you kill, remember that I lent you my pencil this morning. New year means new roommates. Besides Ian, God granted me Noah. And every day I wonder if it was a punishment. He hates almost every decision I make, whether it's decorating or cooking. Does he know I quit college to go into cooking? I only came back because it wasn't my path, obviously. Harrison, could you get out of the way, please? No. Have you ever thought about life? Harrison, I really don't want to talk about this right now. It's been a few days since we've talked about it. Harrison, I think you need to get outside a little bit more. All you've done is build a pillow fort and watch Mean Girls ten times. Have you even gone to class this week? We have a set amount of absences for a reason, Noah. Harrison. Could you just get out of the way? <laughs> what has happened to you? You used to annoy people just so they would like you. Now you just avoid everybody. I grew up. 
I believe they call it puberty. <laughs> I don't think that applies here. <laughs> what would you know, man? Last year, no one would hang out with me, let alone talk to me. And the moment that I get his start, it's my show. Austin takes it away. Now I have to keep Ian's being here on the DL. And I don't think you've noticed, but this isn't the same hall as last time. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe all these new guys might actually hang out with you. I think. Actually, you know what? I don't even know. Heck, I think we all forget that you're even here. Whatever. I got to get in class, okay? I'll see you later. What does he know? I'm over human interaction. It's overrated. Then why the heck am I filming you? Did I say that you could ask questions about the filming process? That's not what I pay you for. <sighs> Woo. So are you the guy? Depends on who's asking. <laughs> Funny, you weren't a kidder over the phone. The package is under the bench. What's in it? Are you not the guy I'm supposed to meet here? Uh, act as if I'm not. Alrighty then. Well, I'm not much of a performer, <coughs> but it's a thing that's going to blow this place wide open. Catch my meaning. It's something that's going to make this school regret cutting our theater program, man. Cutting the theater program? Whoa. What's going on? Okay, you're acting as if you are not the guy I'm supposed to meet. And I don't appreciate that. It's a bomb, my friend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, man, I gotta go. This girl's trying to poison her boyfriend. She needs some ricin. I'm into crazy chicks. You know how it is. Yeah, don't blow yourself up. Love you. Single life sucks. Leaves you lying on the floor. Crying. Until you fall asleep. You call out their name. Then they don't show up. And all you can do is succumb to the comfort of the darkness. Jeez, you want a girlfriend, Harrison? What? Heck no! Do you not understand a thing that I just said? Matt! So, wait. Before you beat me to a pummel, just let me lay some paper towels down to soak up the blood. Where's Matt? Today? Tomorrow? How should I know? He didn't sign on to be my roommate. I would count as a blessing, but that's one amongst none. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'm an outcast, okay? What are you talking about, man? Outcast, you're standing around, sitting around, sitting on mama's milk. Your life's a dream compared to mine. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I'm divorced, I have a child. Maybe. Maybe. 
maybe, just maybe, this is all a prank. It has to be. Who would want to blow up the theater program? Not me. That's when I said, screw you, Cindy! I don't have to clean the pretzel drawer. Riveting. No disrespect to Zach, but I can't stand him. His stories are long, boring, and they mean nothing to me. On top of that, he mainly talks about how I got fired from work for not cleaning a pretzel drawer. What the crap is that? Well, it's nice to have somebody to talk to since... Miranda left me. I mean, since I left her. Who knew marriage meant? Just put all your free time to your wife and your kid. I didn't sign up for that. I'm the dishwasher, okay? They should have a designated person for the pretzel drawer. So I clean plates, I clean silverware, I clean sporks. However, I don't clean anything with salty exteriors. You, uh, you going somewhere, champ? I, I think I'm gonna get dressed. I'm feeling like going out. Okay. Can I come? Why? You don't even know where I'm going. Man, since I got a kid, my priorities have gone to the crap. I'll, I'll do anything that doesn't involve diapers. Talk for hours. Yeah, we're best friends. But I swear he'll talk for hours. A man can only take so much talking until he breaks. Running for hours. I've been running for hours. Oh, I got this shoebox in my hand, and I know eventually it'll blow. So
guess you could say I had a rough life. I mean, I got a new phone every three years or so, and my Wi-Fi couldn't even render video in less than a minute. A minute! And my parents, oh, they always got me fruit. And I hate fruit almost as much as I hate pretzels. You know what? Zach, for Pete's sake, will you just shut up? What? I've held my tongue long enough, man. I, I can't stand it anymore. What's that supposed to mean? Zach, I can't stand you. You're annoying and your stories are boring. I don't care about your kid. I don't care about your stint with, with malaria. I don't care about your dream to go to Uranus. Well, I didn't know you felt that way. What joke's on you? I do. Fine, I guess I'll, I'll leave you alone. Uh, I just thought we'd be becoming friends or something, but I guess not. Friends? No one, no one ever want to be my friend. Where's the best place for a bunk? Among the trash, right? Who cares about trash? I mean, it's just trash. I mean, I don't think anybody would mind if it blows the kingdom come. Noah, I got some new here. Gabe? Yeah, man, small world. Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm actually shooting location. Uh, I talked to a producer and think about making Kill Danny 2. Uh, to me about the book of Psalms oh, relatively. No. But this oh, time, no. Danny dies oh, twice. Oh, no. What do you think? We need to get out of here. Run! What the heck? No one ever wanted to be my friend before, Ian. Run! Noah? Harrison, are we going to talk about what happened back there? I don't even know what to say. What the heck? Come on, Zach. What are you talking about? Can the man look for friendship? No one's even gonna read that. You drew it in pencil. Who's gonna? And you're out in the middle of just nowhere here. Not even a well-populated area. How do you expect to find any friends? Well, that's because only a true friend is gonna see it, Harrison. What happened, to you, man? Why are you so desperate to get a friend? You know what it's like, man? Being alone. To waking up every morning just yourself. Actually... Okay, I sh shut up. Shut up for a second. You don't know. Ever since I was divorced, I've realized I have no friends. I mean, man, you know, we, we kind of hang out sometimes, but all we do is fight. All we do is argue. It's it kind of old. Exactly. You know you felt that way. I guess I'm just not used to someone talking to me for over... 20 minutes at a time. Hey. Maybe that's because you never had a true friend. I've learned a valuable lesson today. I have no friends. Yes, yes, I know that I don't have any friends, but now I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. Maybe Zach and I could form a friendship that could at least hold me over until I make this new haul, like me. I mean, what's, what's not to appreciate? I know at least one person out there wants to be my friend. Harrison's an alright guy. For the time being, at least, I'll... I have to make do to make some new friends. Some better friends. He just has this, this disturbing presence about him. I just want to punch his face in. A lot. But, uh... You know, for right now, it'll have to do. Even work with my anger management skills. I knew 
was her baby. I think I should put my son on. Child actor. Makes sense. Especially on Spanish channels. They're always looking for babies. Yeah. I mean, he's not really cute, but I mean, he has potential. I think I'm going to have to lay low for a while. I got a cousin four times removed living in Calcutta. I think he owns a ranch. I think I'll be a bushwhacker. I hear they make good money. Anything besides being a pretzel drawer cleaner. Yeesh. Well, we met in the hall. In the hall. In the hall. We have had so much fun in the hall. In the hall. In the hall. In the hall. Well, I, we've had a ball. Well done, well done. All consistently in the hall. That's our hall. The hall. Oh. Well, right now I've got to go because we got class. That's it. Six hours is long enough.